so at one point you were an officer at another facility and you moved on. Transferred. Or maybe you quit and came back. And you're anxious to share your experiences. Your knowledge. Your war stories with your new team. Your fellow cadets. And I bet you have a lot to offer. But should you? Should you hit the ground running and let your trainers know that you already know everything? Or should you button up? Lay back in the cut! Oh, I'm sorry. Laying back in the cut means to lay low. Wait for your opportunity to make a move. This message was sent to me by a CO making his return to the arena. The stage! And his question was should he import his knowledge on his new peers? Survey says... No! Don't do that! Nobody in your new facility wants to know what you know, what you've done, and if you come in guns a blazing, raising hell, drawing attention to yourself, you're gonna draw attention to yourself. <laughs> and not in a good way. I'm a firm believer that when you start a new position, a new job, you need to assimilate, acclimate, and ease your way into the environment. My dad taught me that. <laughs> Actually, my dad told me to keep my mouth shut and my ears and eyes open. But that's old school. I don't expect new officers coming in to understand that philosophy. But trust me, if you come into my facility or any other facility beating your chest trying to best your new brothers and sisters, one-up the trainers, the vets, my best guess is that you won't be making a lot of friends. I didn't come to work to make friends. That's good, because <laughs> you won't have any. Seriously, take it slow. It's awesome that you know what you know, and in due time, you'll have the opportunity to shine, to stick out, to highlight your skills. Shit, with turnover like it is, you'll probably be in charge of the training department before you could say Jack Robinson. Okay, hang on. Jack Robinson. Yeah, I use that correctly. Look it up. The person that sent me this message expressed a desire to mentor and help shape his comrades. And I can appreciate that, I, I really can. But I worry that your want to help will be misunderstood, misconstrued as, as arrogant or rude. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the trainers will, will welcome the extra help. But maybe have a conversation with them first. Maybe ask them if it would be okay if you shared some stories. They may be receptive to that. But remember that you will be in class, in the academy, with people that are green. People with no correctional experience. So be careful with what you share and how you share it. They will look up to you because you've been on the inside. And wrong or right, they'll take your advice as gospel. And if what you feed them tastes differently than what the agency is serving, you may have inadvertently, not really on purpose, done your classmate a disservice. And you don't want to do that. Remember, your experiences that you have had will be different than theirs. Leave a little to the imagination, will you? What do you guys say? Recommend! Should our friend here put himself out there or not? I say no. But let me know in the comments if you disagree. I'll give you a minute to type while I go adjust my light. Awesome! So do what you think is best in training. But please, whatever you do, please refrain from bestowing your knowledge on the veterans, the staples, the sentinels that have been holding down the facility for a minute. <laughs> he don't know you. And they don't give two shits about what you did somewhere else. And if you hit the floors, flaunt your experience on the tier, they may be less than excited that you're here. Does that make sense? I hope so. Let me spell it out because I think that this is a big deal. This world is weird. And we, meaning those of us that are established, entrenched in our facility will value your skills and your experience when the time comes. But that time is not right now. Not today. See, every facility, every, every agency has its own tone. We're all like a little twilight version of each other. The similarities are striking, but the differences are, well, different. And a guy or gal returning to this profession, rekindling their correctional career should crawl before they walk and, uh, and walk before they talk shit. If you liked this video, if you found value in this video, straight punch that little like icon. Comment and share this content with anyone and everyone that you think may be interested. Subscribe and click that little bell so you're notified every time I release another video. Speaking of another video, check out one of these videos that are on the screen here. And while you're checking stuff out, check out my books. The Nothing That Never Happened and When Hope Becomes a Housing Unit, both available on Amazon. All right, guys, that's all I got. Until next time, be smart, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk soon. Knife hand. We'll talk soon. Sir. We'll talk soon. Nickelodeon.